we're preparing right now to have a, a men's basketball game January 20th against Snow College at the house. Uh, we're excited for that. Obviously, it's a bummer that we're not going to have fans in attendance, um, but we're going to do our best to, to cover everything that we can so that people uh, know what's going on with Matador Athletics. The Arizona Western College, well, it's considering sports seasons starting without any fans on site. Welcome back, everyone. Matador Athletics announced this week that fans will not be allowed to attend any of the volleyball or men's or women's basketball games that are set to begin a week from now due to the COVID-19 protocols that AWC is following that have been established by the City of Yuma and the Arizona Community College Athletic Conference. Meanwhile, when the outdoor sports seasons begin in February, a limited number of fans that abide by the protocols can attend. News 11 Sports caught up with Associate Athletic Director and Sports Information Director Tim Slack, who explains what factors determine the no-fan decision for the school's indoor sports events. Well, there wasn't really a ton of wiggle room. Um, as far as my understanding goes, uh, with, with the, the whole permit process and, and having people uh, inside, uh, it's just it's really difficult to do and uh, obviously the house is a pretty cozy environment uh, so that would have made it a challenge uh, to, to have anybody in there uh, because of the, the distancing protocols that we're going to have to have on one side of the floor and then the other side would just be difficult to monitor difficult to, to kind of keep people protected to cast the broadcast for AWC Volleyball as well as men's and women's basketball, you can tune in to AWC TV or you can log on to awcmatadors.com to live stream those sporting events when they occur.